And welcome back. I'm Trevor Thompson. We do have some breaking news. The Borderland is mourning the loss of Andrus basketball coach Jim Forbes today. The longtime coach, former Olympian and NBA draft pick died at the age of 69 from COVID complications. But his legacy can't just be measured by simple wins and losses. For more on that, we are joined by KTSM 9 sports anchor Colin Deaver. He is live at Riverside, where Forbes was a coach for two decades. Colin. That's right, Trevor. Well, this was Coach Forbes' seat here on the Riverside bench. We've left it open for him this afternoon. You can, can only imagine that he is here in the gym that is named after him. As you said, Coach Forbes was at Riverside 1984 to 2004, led the Rangers to the 1995 Final Four. As we know, he also led the 2015 Andrus Eagles to the Final Four in the state of Texas. You mentioned it. He played at UTEP. He was an Olympian on the 1972 United States basketball team that won a silver medal. Actually, didn't accept their silver medal because they felt like they should have won the gold medal over the Soviet Union. He played at UTEP. His number hangs in the rafters over at the Don Haskins Center. His jersey number 50 is retired at Bel Air High School. And of course, we all know about that coaching career. But what about everything else that went in it to Coach Forbes? Beyond the game of basketball, he taught history at every single high school that he ever uh, was a coach at, whether it be Riverside or Andrus. He was a history teacher uh, at Andrus uh, when he passed. He means so much not only to athletes at both of these schools, but just regular students who would have him as a history teacher. So the lessons that Coach Forbes taught uh, his players and uh, coaches that followed in his footsteps, that also transcended uh, the game of basketball. Given a lot of us a uh, different perspective uh, due to his experiences in his life. Um, like I said, we, we, t we talk about everything and, uh, and uh, just to hear his side of the story or some of the things that he's experienced in his life and make it relatable to some of the things that we're, uh, we're going through. Uh, opened our eyes up to a lot of uh, uh, new subjects and stuff that we need to talk about. He can go to UTEP and mingle with the boosters. He can go to Riverside, he can go to Americas, he can go any parts of this town, near and far, not just the Northeast, and, and the love is the same. Yeah, you can really feel the outpouring of love and support for Coach Forbes as well as his family today. That was Javier Vela, uh, the Riverside boys basketball coach. Coached under Forbes, also played for him at Riverside. And then Rodney Lewis, coached for 11 years under Coach Forbes uh, in his time at Andrus. And speaking of Andrus, they are playing a basketball game tonight, still 7.30 p.m. The boys basketball team will host Irvin High School. They will be honoring Coach Forbes at that game. We can expect the Northeast community, the El Paso community at large to show out in full force for that game. Again, it's at 7.30 p.m. at Andrus. Trevor, I want to leave you with this. Of course, as we said, Coach Forbes was on the 1972 United States Olympic team that got a silver medal in the Munich Olympics. One of the players on that team was Doug Collins, of course, played in the NBA, coached Michael Jordan with the Chicago Bulls, and then became a famous broadcaster of NBA games. I just got off the phone with him. He still keeps in touch with Coach Forbes. He talked to Coach Forbes' wife earlier this week. His last message uh, that I'm going to relate to you guys is that he just wanted Coach Forbes to know that he loves him and that he's so appreciative of everything Coach Forbes did for him when they were on that 1972 team t together. Trevor. Yeah, Colin, just speaking personally, that was the great thing about Coach Jim Forbes. He could impact somebody from an, an NBA player, NBA coach, Olympians, all the way down to high school athletes. He was truly one of a kind, and he will be missed all across the borderland.